Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. Is one of your New Year's goals to drink more water? Well, our next guest has the recipes to do it. We welcome back Creative Green Living Blogger Carissa Bonham joins me. Good to see you. Happy it's New good Year. To see you. Happy New Year. This is so pretty. I mean, this is Thank just going to make you drink water when it looks right? this good. You feel so fancy, right? You like, because really you go to a spa and they have all these fancy waters, yes. and then you can have it at home, and then you just feel. Fancy. Oh my God, I don't know. Fun. I like this is great. If I feel fancy, I'm more likely to do something. So infused water is just putting herbs, fruit yeah. into your water. It's really yeah. It's really that's all that it is. But um, it would amaze you how much it really changes your mindset about stuff. You know, a lot of people view drinking water as a chore. Right. They don't like it, especially if it's plain water, and so they reach for you know high calorie juices or sodas or things that like aren't helping really nourish your body and they're mm -hmm. like increasing how many calories you're taking in. But if you can switch to something like this, it could save you money, especially if you have a soda habit that you're spending exactly. a lot of money on yes. soda and it tastes good and you're nourishing your body and you're doing really something good for you and your family. And um, you know, like my kids, like they don't drink, you know, Kool-Aid or other powdered drink mixes because they really love this. And so giving them um, you know, I don't have to buy it now in the store, right? right. That's money that yeah. like a family could be saving and my kids really get into it because they, they call it the fancy water and so they fancy really want to choose the ingredients and how to do it and so it's, yeah, it's easy. What have you found are the best ingredients? Um, so anything that, like that's sweet. So uh, fruits and herbs and I really like mm -hmm. to do like one or two fruits with like an herb combo. So like this one is strawberries with basil in it mm -hmm. and this one is oranges with thyme uh, this one is lemon and cucumber, and normally I throw mint in it, but the store was out of mint, so today there's no mint in there. Okay. Um, but then, then the last one is um, blueberries with lemon and basil. So just like the combo of like the herb that's not super sweet, but with the fruit that's sweet. Yeah. I just, I really like that combination, and my kids do too. And it's, so in addition to, I showed, like I wanted to show a few different ways that you can yeah, do it. Yeah, let's do it. So, um, so I've got like some different like pitchers, so you can make this ahead of time and just store it in your fridge. And the nice really? thing about it is that the fruit lasts through several batches of water. Oh. So you don't have to, you know, dump it out, cut a new thing every time your kids like drink a whole pitcher of water. You just top it off with more water and nice. it lasts about 48 hours, so for two days. And uh, and you just keep topping it off. Two days that will last. Then can you eat the fruit after? You can. It depends. You know, it depends on the fruit. So like the strawberries, strawberries will start to disintegrate and then they'll also start to lose their color. So that's an interesting science experiment because you end up with white strawberries. If oh. you do it enough, like the colors come out of it and uh, that happens with berries a lot oh, where the, the color will come out. But it's still okay to drink. Um, yeah, you know, I would say once your your berries have lost their color, I would put new ones in because once the, the flavonoids are what give it the color, which is also what gives it the flavor. So once it's lost, it's color's not going to so taste. So you're saying like, don't good. drink brown water, Kara. <laughs> <laughs> you may have to no, it's not sweetly. bad for you. It's not like, hmm, <laughs> dirty water. It just like won't taste like strawberries exactly. anymore. Exactly. But it's not, Natural I mean, you could eat it. It's not going to poison it's gonna you. It's going to hurt no. you. So you've done the pictures here. The pictures. And then the other thing I wanted to show you too is like one easy thing to do, like if you're on the go, is to have some glass water bottles and then just stock them up in your fridge you know or then have them ready to go so like one you know ah. one day a week or a couple times a week just like throw some fruit and some herbs in these bottles and then store them in your fridge then when your kids oh. would normally go to like grab a juice box they yeah. can grab a bottle and then they can just top it off with water and then um, I was just going to make one with you guys and show yeah, you how do to do it. it. Yeah. So you did the ice first, not the fruit first. Well, I did the ice first because TV, right? Yes, but, we um, need the ice yeah, So okay. you can do it um, either way. But all you just do is um, just cut up, um, you know, whatever fruits and herbs you want to do. So I was thinking cucumber would be really nice. Cucumber is really good. In yeah, water. and it's a great way to um, eat seasonally too. Like you can just buy what's in season. Mm -hmm. Or if you're growing things in your garden, you know, I get tons of cucumbers in my garden. So during the summer, we drink a lot of cucumber lemon water because I have cucumbers, you know, the coming out my ears. ears. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so and then you just like throw it in here. Easy peasy. You can do the, the ice. Can first you do the, the butts of them? You can. Mm -hmm. huh. Yep. You know, and especially so the one thing I do say, though, for um, citrus fruit is that I really recommend getting organic ones. So then that way you don't okay. have the pesticides on the skin that's soaking in oh, your water. Yes. But if you don't have organic citrus fruit available, I would cut the peels off okay. and then do the, the flesh. Good tip. Yep, and then just throw this in and then top it off with water and that's easy. And all you have to do is throw it in your fridge. It's ready to go. Um, I have a so bunch of these simple. recipes too if you need like flavor she combo does. ideas. She does, yes. You have a blog and it has what? Yes. Like 120 even on this ebook that you have. The ebook, yeah. So lot. I have on Creative Green Living, there's 11 recipes, but then if you want all of the things, there's, right. a, there's 120 in the ebook. Combinations. And, Any yep. combination you should not go with. 
Um, I, I've read some other infused water books and they have like, like interesting vegetable things like sweet potatoes and carrots and I don't know if that's mm. like my, my thing, thing. Mm. Mm. but I really like like the combo of fruit, fruit and herbs um, together. Ooh, that's good. Isn't that good? That I love wins. that one. I only have is one it, and it wins. Is that basil or is that yeah, mint? So it's basil with blueberries and lemons. There you have it. it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank happy you for year. having me. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. And yeah. again, we'll have information about Carissa and a link to that blog with so many recipes on it on our website at katu.com. Well, still to come, we are making a natural and easy homemade deodorant. But first, K2's Wesley Ogle joins me with her top picks and places to stay active this 2019. She's got some great ideas, so don't go away.